Hi, I'm Mika from Bed Boss, and for today's video, I'm going to show you our POS pharmacy setup with frontliner setup. This setup is highly recommended for pharmacies. It improves your entire store, simplifies your daily operations, and you can manage expired dates of inventory effectively. Our POS pharmacy setup includes our main unit, mouse, keyboard, and monitor, cashier drawer, receipt printer, and barcode printer. We also call this our cashier interface. While on our frontliner setup, it also includes our main unit, mouse, keyboard, and monitor, but with barcode scanner and receipt printer only. So now with our pharmacy setup, I'm going to show you item entry using back office. But before that, we need to create item categories for our items. So select items inventory, and then click item categories. So now you will see here that you need to fill this up. So select the item type. And the unit of measure, select category, and then input category name for your items. Now click Add New. And then as you can see here, we have our new item category. Now that we're done here, we can now proceed to items. Input the item name. So the name and the description should be the same. So to copy, click Control C and to paste, Control V. Select the category and always remember to check this editable description. So you can always edit the name and the description of the items. And now here, if your item doesn't have any barcode yet, just click Generate Barcode. And we'll have our barcode here. But if your item have a barcode, just input the barcode here in your item code. Now click insert new item. Now that we have our new item, we can now proceed to sales pricing. So click sales pricing. And then select or input the item name of your item. So here. Select the sales type and input the sales price for your item. So click add new and then to print the barcode, click this pencil logo and click barcode print. And now we have our barcode here. Here is our barcode. So here, as you can see, this is the barcode. So attach this to your item. So attach this to your item. And then now that we're done with sales pricing, we can now proceed to inventory adjustment. So input the barcode and put the expiry date for your item. So for example only, click this and Input the quantity that you have on hand. Also input the unit cost or the capital for your item. Now click Add Item. And click Process Adjustment. Now that we're done with item adjustment, I can now show you Inventory Reports. So click Reports. And you will see here all sorts of reports that you will need. So click Inventory. And then you will see here the inventory sales report, so click it. You can choose the date that you will check. And also, if you want to check all of the categories, just click this no category filter. But if you want to check it per category, select the category that you are going to check. Now click display. Now you're going to see here the sales, the cost, and the profit for that item. Also click this stock movement report. And here you will see the opening or the opening stock, the inward items, the outward items, and the balance or the quantity that you have left. Next, the 
stock sheet with expiration. So here you will see the items with the expiration dates. Also, you will see here the credit of measure, the quantity, and also the available balances of the quantity left. So now that we're done with item entry and reports, I'm now going to show you sales order. So we're going to use our front liner setup. So scan your items using the barcode scanner. So as you can see, this pops out when I scan the barcode because this is the expiry date of your item. Now let's proceed to the other ones. You can also use this lookup button and search for items. To add quantity, click this and this. You can also use item setup and input the quantity number. And now that you're done with taking the customer's item, you can now proceed to tender. Input the payment amount of the customer and click tender sales. Now our sales order print out will print. And we have your sales order print out. So you have to take note of the sales order number. Here is our sales order number. SO number. And now that we're done with sales order, we will now use our pharmacy setup to do the sales transaction. So click SOR sales order and then input the SO number. And here you can actually see all of the items that customer have purchased. And we can now proceed to tender. Or control tender. And input the customer's payment amount. And proceed to tender sales or enter. And now, the receipt will print and the cash drawer will open. Now that we're done with sales transaction, I will now show you cash count. So, click cash count. So, this is the printed report of the amount in the cash drawer. So, this is for example. And... Once the cashier is done inputting the amount, click print and end shift. And the cash count will print. So this is the cash count. And now that we're done with cash count, I will now show you Z reading. Or you will know if the cashier is short or over with the sales. So click Control Shift C and click OK. And our Z reading printout we're putting. And this is our Z reading printout. So you will see if the cashier is over or short with the sales. So you will see here. And now that we're done with Z reading, we can go back to back office and check the deduct quantity because we did a transaction. So click stock movement report. And here you will see that our inward at first is 30. And then here in outward you will see the negative 1 because we did the transaction. And our balance is now 29 or our stock on hand. Next. Here in inventory customer you will click sales ticket report. And here you will see the items with the description and expiration dates. You will also see here the sales, the cost, the profit, and even the cashier ID. 
And that's it! Our POS Pharmacy setup offers inventory management solution to increase efficiency and improve your workflow. Also, our frontliner setup ensures fast and accurate sales transactions. Now, help your business compete in the industry using our POS system. If you want to boost your business, choose Bitboss. Bye!